Hello survivors and welcome back to Vegas Reality. In today's video we're going to be ascending one of the newest legendary recruits from the season store. Alright guys, so this is something that I was going to hold off a little bit on, but there's a current level up going on and with that 100 pulls, my roster is pretty much stacked to the top and I need room. So I need to ascend a character and then level them up a little bit just so I can have room on my roster. So we are going to be ascending my Charlie here. Now, after I send them, we're going to take a look at them, put them on a hypothetical team, and then yeah, so let's get some Benedicts on them real quick. That'll be that'll clear up some space for sure. We hit ascend. All mo any mods equipped to these fighters will be returned to your inventory. Okay, I don't have any mods equipped to Benedicts. If I did, that'd be weird. All right, Charlie. Welcome to the squad. Let's take a look at Charlie and let's take a look at his fully maxed character. Not his character as it stands right now because it's not very impressive. I have to max out his adrenaline rush and his active skill a little bit. So 22, 25 attack, 14, 11 defense, 1790 HP. So even though this guy's a damage character, based on everything else I see about him, I think he's a damage character that belongs on defensive teams. He does 425% damage and 375 bleed damage for 3 turns to a line of enemies. This character gets plus 35 defense and focus for 3 turns. Yeah, that's a lot of damage and that's a lot of bleed damage. But the reason I say I think he belongs on defensive teams is that he gets plus 35% defense on top of all that. The focus, I mean, that could aid in some attack teams as well, like when you're facing off against human shields. But that could aid in defense as well. So his active skills, heal reduction and AP gain, 100% heal reduction for 3 turns to this character and a line of enemies. This character gains plus 35% AP. So that still confuses me. So is he not allowed to heal himself as well as a line of enemies? That's where I'm a little bit confused. So this says heal reduction for 3 turns to this character and a line of enemies. So I'm pretty sure that means he won't be able to be healed, nor will the line of enemies he attacks, nor will the line of enemies he uses his active skill on. So, I mean, that sucks. That's like one of the first cases I've seen of like hurting yourself in the process of doing something. But I mean, it's still handy because 100% heal reduction is a good counter for revives and stuff like that. So honestly, it's not bad. It's not horrible. And he has the newest specialist skill, Manic. Every turn, if this character is at or below 75% HP, this character gains plus 50% AP at the start of their turn. So every turn that this guy is hit with a lot of damage and he's just sitting there on the verge of death, his AP shoots up 50%. Now that is honestly ridiculous. This is kind of, you want them to target this guy. So his Charlie's Violent Dual Forks, plus 30% attack, medium bonus to AP when attacking and then when attacking 100% chance to taunt for one turn when your HP is more than 75% this is why I love Charlie so much when he's under 75% his active skill lets his adrenaline rush shoot up to 50% capacity so in two turns ideally he will be charged and ready to go when he's above 75% HP there's a hundred percent chance that when you attack the character they're going to be taunted to hit him which in turn will take his HP down, which in turn will charge his Adrenaline Rush. So this guy's like pretty much a really cool, well-rounded dude. I love him. Honestly, I don't know what to do with his weapon. I don't know if he needs a huge bonus to AP when attacking or taking damage since his Adrenaline Rush charges so quickly. I may want to do like plus 30% HP or something like that. I may want to do like plus 30% defense on there and then have my finished weapon be plus 35% attack, plus 35% defense, and then keep that special trait at the bottom because i honestly don't think he needs a bonus to ap because his character does it himself already and it would be kind of like a waste of a slot and as you can see his defense is not the greatest thing in the world so i think that would be a good idea personally all right so now that we got like a little review out of the way let's take a look at my team so ideally i want him to replace michonne here where is he at? Let's find him. All right, so I really need another green weapon because I do not have another defensive green weapon, unfortunately. So I need to work on that. I don't have like plus 30 crit, plus 30 attack for sure is what I have, but I need like a plus 30% defensive green weapon. 
Because other than that, like, all my weapons are good. I have absolute defense weapon for Ezekiel with crit. I have my probably my best weapon is Alpha's chainsaw. Hopefully, let me see. Uh, weapons. All right, yeah. So double attack when attacking. Huge bonus to AP when attacking. And then 40% attack is probably the best weapon I have. And then for Solange here, I have a huge bonus to AP when taking damage. 35% defense and better chance to stun the enemy when attacking. So the only weapon I need to edit is I need to get a weapon for Carl for sure. And I need to edit Charlie's weapon here. So that would be my defensive team and I'm not too mad at that. So I have a revival character with Solange. I have a huge damage dealer with Alpha. Charlie is also another damage dealer. And then you got Zeke with the uh, Guardian 2 ability, which is annoying. And then you got healer Carl, which is going to heal them up. And his special skill is AP gain. So I need to max out all these guys. I haven't been doing the best of that. But I said I've been focusing on my attack team specifically. But I will be ready to go as soon as I max these guys out. So let me know in the comment section down below what you would do with Charlie's weapon. And what kind of combat mods would you add to him? Would you give him, since his stats are kind of like wonky his um defensive and hp stats like his hp stats like 1700 and his defensive stats are like 13 something like that i think i would probably like hook him up with some defensive mods for sure uh for now i'm gonna do this since i don't have anything else so yeah let's just add some mods for him real quick so that bulked up his defense to 1600 that's great i'm happy with that actually so We'll get some gold mods onto there when I get them because I'm going to do my pulse for the Michelle event in another video. So that does it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please support it by leaving a like down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I post a new video. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support as always, and I will see you in the next video.